here we are in VS Code with our project open. Keep in mind that we already have the Fury Tools extension pack and UA5 Language Assistant installed and ready to go, and we generated a SAP UA5 Freestyle template using Yeoman as well. This is functionality from the application wizard which is included in the Fury Tools extension pack. If you want to see a video on how to do that later on, we have one available which we'll share the link to in the chat for you guys. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and showcase some of the VS Code extension power, starting with the code completion. Let's go ahead and open our company's XML view here. Alright, let's create a basic list. First thing we have to do is get rid of this content tag here, because it's not properly opened and closed. Let's just delete it, and start typing. As we can see, we get a suggestion menu here. Let's select content, and there you go, it auto-completes it for us. Now let's create our list control, and there's our suggestion menu. Now we can select list by clicking it or just using tab or enter. There it is. Okay, next up we're going to bind the list to our data model using the service modeler extension. To do that, we just right click on our web app folder and select Open Service Modeler. Here we can view our data services and entities. So let's look at our company code entity here. And here we can see all its properties. Comp code, companies. Now let's go back to our view. Now let's bind its items to our company code set. Okay, so we binded the list items to the company code set, as we can see here. Next, we have to create our items aggregation. That's just another XML tag. And let's create a standard list item control. There we go. Now we're going to bind its title property to company name. So let's make a title property and bind it to company name. Comp name. Now let's create a description property and find something nice to bind that to. Let's do company code. So, company code. Okay, we have a simple list here with some properties binded. Let's go ahead and run it to see if it works properly. To do that, let's open the terminal, new terminal, and let's type npm start. Hit enter. Okay, so here's our list running on our local host here. And as we can see, everything is working properly. Here's our company name and company code. And I think this works fantastic. What do you guys think? All right, so moving on to the next thing I wanna showcase, which will be generating a Fury Elements template. Let's close out of this. Exit the terminal. All right, now let's open the command palette and type in Yeoman UI generator. And let's select a Fury Elements application. Next. 
let's select a list report object page. Select a data source. All right, let me paste in our OData URL. And paste in the credentials as well. And select our main entity. Let's go with the company code set and fill in our project attributes. For the name, let's go with Fury Elements Companies. Application title, let's go with Fury Elements Companies. For the application namespace, let's go with i8 and finish. All right, we get the notification saying our project has been generated. Let's open it in a new workspace. And here's our generated template with all our familiar files and folders for a Fury Elements application. And since this is Fury Elements, in order to make changes to the UI, we're gonna have to use annotations. Now what can help us with that is the guided development extension. To open that, let's right click on our annotations folder and select SAP Fury Tools Open Guided Development. Okay, so from here we can select a guide that will help us implement something on our list report page. For example, we can add a new filter field to the smart filter bar, or add a new column to a table. Let's select this one to keep things simple. Let's click Start Guide. Now it's asking us for which entity type do we want to configure our annotation for adding a new column. Let's select company code. Then it asks us which property would we like to have displayed from our chosen entity. Let's select company name. So here's our annotation. Now let's open our annotation XML and click apply. There we go, that applies it to our annotation XML. Now let's run this to see what we got. So npm start. Okay, so here's our application, let's click go. And here's our company name column. So this works great. See how easy it is with guided development to add annotations? Let's try another one. This time company code. Click apply. Back to our local host. Click go. And there it is, our company code column. When we click on a line item, we navigate to the object details page. As we can see, it's not implemented yet, but you can add data to this page the same way, using annotations and the guided development. So what do you guys think? I think it works really well, and I can definitely see myself using this in a future project. All right, moving on to the last thing I wanna show you guys, it's the page map. To open the page map, we right click on our web app folder and select show page map. So this is the page map. The page map visualizes the pages of our Fury Elements application, and you can use it to model your application as well. However, extension projects are not supported in VS Code at this moment. At least there's no tools for them available yet.